Hello everyone. So quick little tip here to use how to use libraries to keep your continuity across a multiple photo set. So we have our original here and say we're going to make some do some color grading. So first we're going to hide my original. Add a gradient map. Give it a nice little shadow color here. Give it a Something around, something around there. Change that to multiply. Drop that fill just a touch, just to give that color there. And we'll go create another one for the highlights. Again, same thing. Do some complementary coloring here. Give it some orange. Go we'll give it a screen. Drop the fill a little bit. So let's say we like that. So we'll go and group it, rename it. We'll say color grading. So the old way is usually undock this, grab this, move it over, and then it shows up. Then you have that nice color grading. We'll actually move that out. Close that one. So now we have the same color grading across all, across that image. But now we have to go back and reopen this one, redock it, and continue working. Now, the new way what we can do is take this color grading, throw it into our libraries. So if you don't know where the libraries is or it's not open, up here in window and libraries. All we have to do is simply click and drag and we have it right there, color grading. So now we can just switch over here and hold down option, alt our option and voila! We have our exact same color grading. Same thing can be done for any other image you want to open up. So we'll go and say Let's make a copy of this one. We'll go and reset it. And we'll go and open with Photoshop. So we have that one. Open image. Same thing. Hold out an alter option. Sorry. Hold down Alt or Option, bring it over, and it's there. Another way to do that is just right click on the color grading or whichever file you want to place and place layers. Alright, you guys, that's it.